So a standard technique in Chisa, the palm strike to disrupt somebody, that's a shock. If they're loose and relaxed, with, with not collapsed, with their, if they're not stiff, it's very hard to disrupt his centre of gravity because he's, he can loosen and disperse the pressure. So I want to stun him to make him stiff. So when he, once he's stiff, it's easier to push and pull him and control him. Right? So the palm strike is really you know, stunning the opponent. Right? So I stun the opponent and I have my chop. So this is my, my take them out technique. Right? You just chop in the, in the front of the face. That would be able to be application for the street. In training, we also get here. But when I have the lap side, the arm is attached to his spine. So I know when I pull the arm with my hip, I'm going to calculate my hip. So my hip comes forward, my elbow comes back. I get him to move forward. Now, sometimes you'll get the step. Sometimes you won't, it doesn't matter. You know, you know you've got full control here, right? If he steps, then you have the leg to strike, the back is presented to you really easily, right? If he doesn't step, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna grab his hip and I'm gonna move my body around him onto him anyhow, right? So it makes no difference either way. But I know the arm is attached to his spine, so when I pull the arm, I know I'm gonna attach, that attachment's gonna control his, his spine, so I'm gonna control his body movement. So here, palm, strike, lap sound, okay? Grab the hip. Grab the arm and I have back control. Okay, there's a lot of power here, right? So I can strike from here, I can strike from here, I can come back up, I can strike from here. If he tries to come back up, I can put him into a simple choke, or I can finish him from here. Okay, so that's our basic application to get into a clinch position. Because Chi say you want to control the clinch. I've got two choices. I can strike from here and hit and finish him, or I can strike and pull him in to a finishing position. So they're my two main choices. It doesn't always go to plan, so sometimes a person might block and I might go here and then I'm putting him to choke on the other side. So that's why we need to have both scenarios. We need to have a striking scenario and then a clinch control scenario which can bring you back into a striking scenario.